Hello everybody, this is Anis Kandia. Okay, I invite you everybody to youtube.com slash apastorp. Okay? Today I'm going to do a very special tutorial. Usually I do all my tutorials in Spanish, but this time I will do it in English. Why? Because uh, somebody told me that they really need some help on tell their friends or their buddies uh, how to configure the CCS meter. So, the first thing that we have to do is to be on a CCS SIM, Callback Community System. And then we click on this blue little thing here. Then you see a little box arrived from Susan Sojinka. This person made all this game that is actually very successful here in Second Life. Then we save it. I'm sorry, I have my SL in Spanish. <laughs> Then we throw this box all over the place and then we could be, click it here on open and then we open it. We wait to download it and then do you copy to inventory. Once you copy to your inventory, you activate the hood, act, heads up display, that is the actual meaning here in Second Life, the meta. All these keys, if you have um, a Mac, you can activate those down here or you can ask for help. There is always somebody around to help you out. And then as soon as you activate everything, you see that this web page comes up and this is very important. Then you may click on load and this is the register web page. Okay, this is a very important part because it's going to choose what kind of RP or role play you want to play. And there are some possibilities that you can choose. So this time I'm going to play female. You can choose whatever you want from here. And you have the angel, cyborg, demon, human, lichen, or werewolf. I have Neko, Sight or Elf, Supernatural, and Death, Vampire. So I'm going to stop a little bit here because I want to explain you a little bit about the classes. The ones I just show you, it was the races. What kind of class do you want to be? So we have the DPS, I'm sorry, I only found this web page in Spanish, so I know you will understand me. DPS is the one you find the front, always fight the first on the bottle. They're very strong, very resistant, and the punch, the hit punch is very, very tough. The healer is to take cover of your friends, of your body. You never fight on the front. You Actually, if you're a healer, I really suggest you to stay behind of the DPS or a tank. Then we have the caster that is in between a DPS and a healer, uh, it has both. And also, and the final we have the tank. The tank has something very special. If you like to fight on the front, this time I'm going to choose the angel. And I have all these ones here. They explain me a little bit each one of them. And I strongly suggest you, well, what you feel more comfortable. I like angels, so I'm going to choose the seraphine on, on this time. Next thing that we have to do, we choose the seraphine and then we go to assign statistics. On these statistics, we have these 10 points that we have to give to all of this. We have fortitude, it's for blood or for health. Endurance, this is the estamine, it's straight, it's how, how hard you, you want to punch. Will, if you want to avoid some very strong skills. Intelligence, how much you can heal yourself. This is very important. Perception, if somebody starts to hit you with a bullet or a canyon, then you can avoid it. And finesse, for example, somebody wants to punch you with 80, 80 punch, I mean, somebody starts to punch you, then it won't hit, hit you so, so hard. Anyway, there are more, more people that know more about this game, so you can ask them for advice on what to do. Then this time I suggest 
to put 5 on fortitude and 5 on endurance. Okay, and then we click on finish. And this we have the statistics for my Seraphine. Cool. Now we have this. Um, we made the registration part and we need to activate it. So how we do? So we talk the, take off this meter and then we put it back on again. Okay, this is our Seraphine. It's loaded up. And now that we have to do, how we throw the skills. The skills are used with the F, you see? These little ones here. So we click on the F3 and then this time I want to heal myself. So I use eight self. This time I want to use, because I'm a healer, so I need to use a lot of stamina to help myself and support my friends. So I will use the overdrive. S5, I would like to use some offense. This time I will use the smite. F6. I would like to heal my friends. So I, this time I will use alkaloid. I also would like to heal my friends. So I will use a uh, eight one. Okay. And the last one, I would like to revive my friends. For example, one of my friends is dead. I want to revive them because I'm from the dead. So I use LC, AC, ACLS1. Okay, this is how we configure our CCS now ready to play. I strongly suggest you to talk to your friends about the how to configure the points and also how to role play in the game because there is an all the whole story. But it's really fun, I enjoy it very much. So if you have any more questions you can hear me. Yanis Kanya is my is my name. So thank you for listening and as always greetings from virtuality. Goodbye.